things. <laughs> the show is about an unlikely duo, Marissa Wong, a ex-cop turned private investigator, and Sarah Winchester, a former career student, who are sort of thrust together because Marissa keeps losing all her drivers. Either we're happy to drive you anywhere you need until you get your license reinstated. She got booted off the police force. She's on her seventh driver because she's unpleasant. Now, she can't keep a partner, uh, which is a bit, of, bit stressful for Gary. I'm afraid your driver has tendered his resignation. Apparently, Tom doesn't feel safe working alongside him. Cry baby poopy pants. I get stressed out just thinking about it. And so he brings in his niece to be her new driver. Maybe I should just phone Uncle Gary and see Look, what you he do has. that, and you're fired. And she proves to be more than just a driver because she's so smart and enthusiastic about the work and um, passionate. The good news is I may have a lead on a potential investigation, something exciting, a potential splash. So yeah, they start solving cases together. Marissa takes Sarah under her wing and Sarah starts flourishing. Oh, that's probably not. Stay in the car. Pump the horn. I think audiences will really love the relationship between uh, Marissa and Sarah. On the page, it jumps. I think it's a bit of like anchoring or trying to find her of like how she got this way and that she really does care for Sarah. Like both of us are kind of like broken people kind of working together. I told you that fireworks sale was a solid deal. What I love about the show is that it kind of honors the tradition of a procedural, infuses it with like a really fresh kind of comedy. Easy there, MacGyver. Okay, there were admittedly flaws in my plan. And then you just have these very unique characters that I haven't seen before, so the whole thing just kind of feels elevated. But just because she picked them up doesn't mean that she's the one that replaced them. Gary, back me up. I feel like a lot of times we think we're living like Marissa is living in like a film noir, but the reality of like everything around her is Scooby-Doo. You know what I mean? Oh my God, what are you doing? How did you sneak that taser in here? Oh. Having two strong female leads, we don't see this a lot in procedurals, not in comedy, not in action comedy. So this sets it apart big time. Best thing about being a PI, we make the mess, they clean it up. It's also an intergenerational comment slash comedy is what it is uh, a bit. Um, you know, Gen Z versus, I would say late millennial, probably Gen X. I think it's a fantastic commentary on wow. how the generations might see each other. Where's Tom? That was your other call. Yeah, a millennial making a phone call, this should be interesting. The thing that audiences are gonna relate to is just having that person in your life that, um, <laughs> who just annoys you to no end, but you can't live without. She's gonna kill me. Look, we all have parents. No, I mean, my parents are literally two of my best friends. <sighs> what? It's got some heart, it's got some laughs. It's got me, it can't miss. What are you smiling at? What, a guy can't smile? Not when he looks like he's been freshly lobotomized, no. It can't miss. I hope it can't miss. I just bought this boat. I hope it doesn't miss. At some point, we'll fight in fancy dress, and I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Fighting in like fancy clothes and fancy hairdos is just my jam. <laughs>